Hey, how's it going? And welcome to this short side video on the Boots of Blinding Speed, which was the unique item you picked up with the Netch Leather Armor mod. And if you don't know what that is, I've left a link to that video in the description. Anyway, these boots intrigued me, and I kind of had it in my head that I'll be zipping around Tamriel like a roadrunner. So I thought I'd give them a bit of a run out in a separate video. Uh, but imagine my surprise when I put them, put them on, and this happens. Oh dear, that's not good. So I delved into the darkest reaches of the internet to find out a little bit more about these strange boats and I discovered there actually is a bit of lore about them which will kind of explain a few things so I'll give a quick cut down version. Now the boots of Blinding Speed are a unique set of next leather boots found in Morrowind. And in that game, a Redguard rogue named Pemini, who owned the boots of Blinding Speed, uh, she gives them as a reward for escorting her safely to Nile Mark. In the Morrowind game, their effectiveness is determined by the character's skill level in light armor, and although it makes the wearer completely blind, having other enchanted items such as those that resist magic make the blindness less permanent, and thus the item immeasurably more useful. And I guess the same goes for Skyrim, and I was kind of right. Now, as so often before on Creation Club stuff, this has turned from a review into a guide on how to actually use these boots. And before we start, I want to say a huge thank you to Jamie Wimbledon for pointing out a bug I probably would never have even noticed. Uh, more about that later. And Marcello Emiliani. I hope I could pronounce that right, uh, dude. Uh, if not, I do apologise for doing a lot of testing and really helping to get this video done fairly thoroughly. And this is all done with my character having no perks in armour and very little XP and no XP or perks in any other magic skills. So a pretty bare bones character. OK, it's time to crack on and check it out. So to get these things to work, we tried potions of magic resistance, potions of spell absorption, the Atronach stone for spell absorption, uh, equipping and unequipping different items in different orders and tons and tons of other stuff. Far too numerous to mention. In fact, I spent two whole nights messing around with this and uh, eventually this is what we found worked and I use the word worked uh, loosely. Okay, so the things that really have made a difference and the first up uh, and it's the Lord Stone for magic resistance and this is a, a key thing and the Lord Stone is found east of Morthal and gives you 25% magic resistance uh, plus an arm boost which is irrelevant for this. Candlelight and or Mage Light, though in my opinion Candlelight works best. Khajiit's Night Eye or a vampire's uh sorry vampire sight and if you're not playing or don't want to play as a Khajiit or vampire then you can resort to the creation club mod rare curios where you can make a night eye potion and for that i use watcher's eye and worm's head cap now i did a full run through on uh rare curios recipes so go and check that out and it's interesting to note that Night Eye doesn't uh, go its usual almost black and white mode, but retains colour. Now I'm not sure if that's significant or not. Some other things that may have had an influence, like uh, Breton 25% resistance to magic, Agent of Mara, uh, Book of Love Quest, which gives you 15% resistance to magic, and Saviour's Hide giving you a 15% resistance to magic. But if they did have an effect, it was marginal at best and certainly not measurable and I think it's safe to say you're good to go without them. So uh, let's take this thing up for a rest, uh, test run. Okay, so let's start with what we got and we'll pop on the uh, the boots and we're blind again, so into our potions. Now remember, bear in mind we've got the Lord Stone already done or activated. And as you can see already, it's actually much brighter. It's maybe a bit difficult on your screens actually to see, but it is actually significantly brighter. And fire off the candlelight. Mage light works, but I think candlelight's better. And as you can see. And this is as good as we can possibly get it. <laughs> We can't get it any better than this. So, if you guys have worked out a better way or, yeah, well, a better, a better way than, than this, then please let me know in the comments and I'll I'll completely redo this uh, video. Because um, it's uh, fairly limiting, as you can see. So, there, there you have it. 
the Lordstone, Night Eye, and Candlelight. I'm not sure if the Breton Blood and Agent of Mara, as I mentioned before, made any difference, but if they did, uh, it's fairly marginal. And apparently the speed, I'm guessing the speed is affected by your Light Armour XP, as it was in Morrowind. Uh, but I haven't checked that out yet, but I'm just assuming it's going to be. And if you find any different, again, put it in the comments below. Okay, there you go. We've actually got it working to, uh, to a point. And as for the previously mentioned bug, and thanks again to Jamie Wimbledon for letting me know about this, uh, when you go to put these on a mannequin, um, this happens. So to get your sight back, simply take the boots back off the mannequin and your sight will return. Okay, so let's look at the good and the bad with these boots. Now first the good, they make you run faster. Now the bad, they're not good at night, they're only good for clear paths, not for rough terrain or places with any obstacles whatsoever. When you put on a mannequin, you lose your sight until you take them back. Only suitable if you're a Khajiit or vampire, or if you're willing to use valuable rare curious ingredients. You're restricted to using the Lordstone, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you may wish to have something else activated. Now, none of these things will be a problem if they work well, but they don't, which is such a shame. I was really looking forward to something that made running around Skyrim fun, uh, maybe even making you as quick as a horse, but sadly not you just end up simply dying a lot. Uh, saying that, they're a unique item that was thrown in with the net charmer, um, only it's a shame you can't even display them, though uh, in a nutshell, I think they're gonna be left in the cupboard somewhere and forgotten about. Anyway, this is just what we've discovered so far. And if you find uh, any way to get these boots working well, just let me know and I'll redo the video and give you the credit. And again, thanks uh, for the help from Marcello Emiliani and Jamie Wimbledon. And uh, obviously, I hope you got your names right there again. Hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Catch you later.